Hey guys, over on our, um, on our Facebook group, we have a Kubota tractor and equipment group over there on Facebook. And one of the guys was talking about putting a uh, hitch on the front of his bucket and, uh, you know, putting a receiver basically on the front of the bucket to, to, take, a, to take a hitch with a ball on it slide it in and out and be able to change it over like that and I had been going to put one on on this bucket but I was scared that the ones that bolt on in the middle of the bucket you know if you, if you try to pick up something that had a lot of tongue weight and you hit a bump or something and you know I was just afraid it would bend that bucket and there's nothing worse than having a bucket that sags at the bottom um, you know, it just kind of ruins the whole bucket, really. So rather than do that, I actually fabricated up, just kind of did a quick, loose fabricating job and, and built something that would um, take the stress off the bucket. You know, well, take the stress off of one concentrated area of the bucket and kind of distribute the, um, the weight of it around the whole bucket. So... That's this frame right here that I built. It is a little bit of a pain to put on and off the tractor. But, um, you know, I, mean, I guess, you know, it's like anything. If you do it a lot, it gets easier. But I don't really put it on and off that much uh, myself. But occasionally, if I've got the back of one here and I need to move a trailer, then it's worth it to put this on rather than take the back hoe off. And put the you know put the ball on the back of the tractor. So, and I do tend to have the, the back of on the back of this tractor a lot. So, let me um, go ahead and put it on, and I'll bring you in closer so you can see kind of how it's made and what it looks like. see what kind of view you got. Okay, move you on over here a little bit. Alright, that's kind of what it looks like. And so it, it's, you know, it, it basically hinges down in here like this. It's got a piece of metal right there that's holding it. Got this chain. And we just tuck that chain down here. chain made to fit just right goes in there and then that goes up like that the excess chain just goes in there and now it's on there and um, you put your slide your ball up in here um, basically it's just made out of like uh, I believe this is two and a half. It's either two and a half or three inch by two and a half or either three inch. Quarter inch thick angle iron. I got a piece coming across here and basically I just laid that piece up there and clamped it. Then I took two pieces and laid them across here and cut them to fit in there and welded them. And I, and I cut a piece to go across the bottom down here all the way across the bottom. And another piece on this end. I, I put these end pieces on here. 
And when I originally put them on there, I was thinking that they would act as a kickstand and hold this thing up, but they, the metal was just too flimsy. This, this thing's pretty heavy duty. Um, but, you know, I don't have to worry about it bending the bucket because basically all the pressure from, you know, whatever tongue weight I got is distributed all the way around the whole bucket instead of just concentrated right here you know or wherever you bolt that thing down to and of course I've got a piece of steel right here that's welded from from here up to the top up here and um, don't laugh at my wells now they're not they're not the, the prettiest welded welding because uh, I'm really not a welder I just know just enough to probably get myself in trouble try to take you over a little closer all right, so basically what we got, we got this piece of angle iron right there, and then we got another piece right here, and that's actually what holds that, you know, and keeps it from going off that way. And then the chain, it just goes right on around that side. And then, you know, we got a piece welded across there. It goes on the inside of the bucket. And then a the piece across here. It's like that, right on up. And then this piece that, that ties the top in to the bottom to keep this from flexing is where this uh, that that part right there is uh, mounted to. And this, you know, just right here, you just throw that up there like that, and it clamps it down. And it, it's, you know, you can this is adjustable, so you can make it a tighter. You can make it so you got to really crank down on it, but it's not necessary to crank down on it. So I don't. So I don't typically crank down on it when I when I have it there. But anyway, I will pull it over here so you can take another look. There it is. This is uh, here's a hitch right here. It doesn't have a ball on, but this is the one that I used used to use on that Jeep over there. Jacked up and use a lot of drop on it, but that's kind of how that works. Anyway, it just kind of gives me peace of mind to know that I'm not going to bend my bucket. Hope you enjoyed the video.